if you reach a point where you need to make sure that your computer is properly configured with IP addresses, or if the DHCP server has properly sent the information to you, you can use a utility called ipconfig. Let's go on and open our command prompt and take a look at this. If we just type ipconfig, it brings up our basic information. It tells us any possible IP addresses that we have, our subnet masks, and our default gateway. It'll show you that if you have multiple adapters, in this case here, I've got a NIC card on my local area network, and I also have a modem going out to the internet. Let's find a little more information out about what's going on by typing ipconfig with the all switch. Now it gives us some detailed information here. Let's look at this. It has my host name, DNS suffix, node type, the IP routing, if it's enabled or not, the WINS proxy enabled or not. You can see this can be really handy if you have a WINS proxy agent set up, but you want to check to make sure that it's enabled. Okay, let's look here. It's now it has some information for my local NIC card, as well as my local modem. Now, if you have DHCP set up on your machine, you can use two commands to work with it. One is IP config renew. This will renew the lease on your DHCP address. Now, when I hit enter, I'm going to get an error message because I don't have DHCP set up to assign an address to this machine since this is my server. You see the error here. If I had this machine set up to use DHCP, what would happen here is it would renew my IP address and give me a new one. The other command that goes along with IP config that works for a DHCP server is the release command. An example of when you might need this would be if you're moving your machine from one network to the other and you want to actually release that IP address so it's available for another machine. You could do this. So let's go on IP config release. And I got an error message because I don't have DHCP. However, if I did have DHCP configured for this, it would release the IP address and end my lease, therefore freeing up that IP address for another machine.